Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. And on this video, we're gonna take another look at generic rectangles and how we can use it to help us distribute two different expressions. So let's look again at our starting point, which is our product. Let's go ahead and look at the product of 3x and the other expression is gonna be 5x squared minus 2y. So again, our hope is, is that we can build out this generic rectangle with these sides to figure out what the sum is. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna go ahead and build out my generic rectangle. It's always our first step here. And again, we wanna start to move these terms, the sides, onto the sides of our generic rectangle. Now, normally we're used to seeing two sets of parentheses. The first guy here, the three X, does not have a set of parentheses, which means that it's going to be that entire side. The entire side is three X. There is no three X plus one or minus five at the top. It's just gonna be the three X which means that, let me go ahead and highlight that so we can get that, which means that the other term here, the 5x squared minus 2y, that is going to end up being the other side, which for my rectangle is on the bottom. So there we go. We have our two sides listed out on our generic rectangle. Our next step is to fill in the inside. Well, I see on the bottom here I have two different terms. So I'm gonna draw the line going up. Now on the left side I only have one term so I don't need to draw the line going down the middle because it is just one term. Which makes this problem a little easier because that means I only have two spaces here to fill in. So let's fill those in, again, by multiplying those sides. So I see that we have 3x, times 5x squared. Well, the three and the five, when you multiply, that will make 15. And x times x squared would give us x cubed. Now, hopefully you're now starting to realize why we like to use the generic rectangle instead of algebra tiles, because we don't even have an algebra tile for x cubed. That's why we start this transition because as the problems increase in difficulty, the algebra tiles kind of lose their essence. We can't really use them past a certain point. That's why we wanna use generic rectangles. Now for this last space here, I have three X times negative two Y. Let's focus on the constants. Three and negative two would make negative six. X times Y would just give us xy, which means that our sum here, if I'm writing out the terms that I see, would be 15x cubed minus the 6xy, and I don't see any way for me to combine or simplify those terms, so that is our sum, that is our answer. So again, it's okay for us to not have two sets of parentheses, right? We only had one set here. It's okay to have a single term. It actually makes the problem move along a little quicker. And then it's okay to end up with an x cubed. Okay, we haven't seen that yet, but it is totally okay for that to happen. All right, guys, it's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.